the president's dining room. How you doing on you, Tigers? This is your host, Patrick Walsh, and this is The Fly on the Wall. Uh, today we're sitting here with Sam, he's the general manager of Sodexo, and then we got Susan, who's a spiritual life coordinator uh, with Ministries, and we're going to be talking about the food drive. How you guys doing today? Doing well. Good. Thanks How for having you? us. Pretty good. So uh, this is what we're talking about. You know, we had a food drive. We talked a little bit about it in chapel this week. Can you kind of share with the student body uh, what you guys are looking to do with the food drive and ultimately what you're looking to accomplish? Yeah, so the food drive is something that's uh, Sodexo Stop Hunger Foundation is a big part of what we do. October is Hunger Awareness Month, and so that's when we try and focus on some initiatives driven behind that. My experience has been when we do food drives, a lot of times if you just try and do it at dining, um, participation can be low, and a lot of that's just getting the word out there, that sort of thing. So I reached out to Spiritual Life and said, hey, would you be willing to partner on a food drive? Because we kind of figured strength in numbers, and she's like, well, actually, I've already got a couple of student ministries that would like to do the same thing, and so we decided to partner, and so strength in numbers. And then as the word got around to some other departments, uh, athletics raised their hand and said, oh, wow, this is a great thing. We'd love to play a role, too, uh, which we were ecstatic about. Again, so you know, the more people that we can bring awareness to the program, uh, I th we think the more participation we'll get and the, the bigger impact we'll be able to make. And so one of the things that I wanted to do uh, on Sodexo's behalf was to uh, have a dollar donation for can and then it, as we begin to talk to community partners um, and Susan's team they begin to say well we need more than canned goods we need paper goods we need peanut butter we need those types of things. So Sodexo will donate a dollar per item and so you know we're really excited about that partnership and and we're hopeful that it'll be a lot of a lot of participation and so Spiritual Life Ministries has really reached out to a lot of community members um, that are willing to uh, take a donation and so uh, that's that's kind of where Spiritual Life comes in. So Susan, like I said, you're involved in spiritual ministries on campus, and like yeah. Sandwich is saying, uh, you know, you were heavily involved in this process. So can you just tell uh, the student body and some faculty and stuff, uh, what kind of items are you looking to get in this food drive, and then ultimately where are these items going to be distributed to? Yeah, it's a great question. So we reached out to our community partners. So one of our ministries, actually Compassionate Ministries, has a partnership with Kentucky First Church's food pantry they have there. And so one of my student leaders reached out and said, hey, we have this opportunity of collecting some goods. What is it that you're looking for? And then we got this wonderful list of specific items, anything from canned fruits and vegetables to mac and cheese and various items there, but also including paper goods like napkins or paper towels, things like that, but really wanting just any collection of some sort of dry good or canned good. We also then realized, okay, well, if we have an entire campus collecting food, maybe just one partner isn't going to be enough because we would love to bless our multiple partners in our area. So we reached out to both the Center of Hope who their main request when asked was peanut butter. Please send us peanut butter. So I didn't know that it could be a heavily requested item, but Center of Hope's requesting peanut butter and then also Salvation Army. And they just said any donation that you could bring would be helpful for here. So those are our three collecting sites. Um, and so there's some specific items requested, but really any canned good, any dry good would be accepted. Like we've been talking about, uh, you know, this is kind of a new process. We haven't really done a lot of things like this on campus before. Uh, athletics has jumped in and actually offered hundred dollars to the team that you know brings the most cans what are you guys looking like big picture here what's your goal for the food drive and then sure. how do you think the student body can ultimately help you guys reach that goal yeah so yeah I mean this is you know certainly I'm new to campus but this is the first time in, in recent memory that I know of on campus we're talking to people that we've had this kind of partnership on campus where there's been this many departments involved and so it's it's really hard for us to set a goal our hope is is that you know, with this uh, partnership and all the students helping out that this becomes uh, an annual partnership and so each year our goal is you know whatever we hit last year and to beat that goal and then you know every year after year you know to try and get bigger and bigger and you know I think Susan's got a few thoughts on, on what that looks like but yeah so really you know we're talking about we would love to I mean okay give a number amount but ultimately the greatest collection point the only collection point on campus is going to be in Sodexo's dining services downstairs in Ludwig right behind where you scan in your IDs we're going to start a mountain or theoretically a Christmas tree of cans so our goal is that people are safely tripping or at least being encouraged seeing the amount of the student body participating that they're going to be galvanized to do so as well. So can you just walk through us through a little bit uh, about the details of it? So uh, we talked about having about a week long for this food drive. Can you kind of tell them uh, the details where they can bring these items that you talked about earlier? 
Yeah, great question. So it's actually kicking off tomorrow. It's a football game. It's about 1 o'clock, is that correct? Correct. Versus St. Ambrose. So coming out, support the guys in their hopeful first winning season. Um, but it'll start there, bringing your items to that football game. Then it'll carry out through all of the next week. So it'll end cap next Saturday with a basketball game. But throughout the week, it doesn't matter if it's during a meal time or not. We're going to have the exit doors be available for students to come in. So you can literally bring your can or cans or boxes, whatever that you have into the dining room services downstairs at any point throughout the week. Well, you've heard it here from Sam and Susan first. Uh, we have this really awesome food drive. We'd really like you guys to participate. Uh, we're challenging you guys, uh, all athletes, and then even all students too, if you can also bring uh, a dollar just to either the football game or the basketball games, we've, it'd really help to raise a lot of money that we can purchase cans. Uh, you can either bring cans too as well, like Susan was talking about. So we'd really like to challenge you guys to participate, uh, help out your community locally, uh, and just really feel good this holiday season. So thank you guys for uh, joining us today. Yeah, and, thanks uh, for having us.